Okay, folks, uh, this is a perfect example of what I've been telling people. You know, uh, I do this um, reporting because I want to make uh, it really, really clear that the storms we're seeing is not normal. And uh, it's articles like this that just reinforce that point. Now, uh, you know, I get emails all the time saying, yeah, it's spring, we're supposed to have storms. Yeah, it's spring, thunderstorms are normal. Well, this article pretty much says, uh, record-breaking storm system roars across U.S. Record-breaking, record-breaking. More and more you see that. And uh, I'm going to read the whole article. It says, the powerful storm system that swept through the plains on Sunday and to the east coast today, killing at least seven people in the deep south, spawned over 1,500 reports of severe weather since Sunday including record-breaking 1,200-plus reports during a 24-hour period. The hardest-hit regions were Tennessee Valley, Mississippi Valley, and the southeast, where the majority of the reports piled up from early Monday through early Tuesday during the 24 hours. More preliminary severe weather reports, large hail, wind damage, and tornadoes were tallied uh, than in any other 24-hour period since comparable records began in 2000, according to the National Post's weather blog. Now, I just want to show you the graphics here. And as you can see, this is all wind, wind reports, all the blue. The red, you see, are tornadoes, and the green is hail. So the article goes on to say, the number of reports are preliminary and are subject to change, either with new reports being added or duplicate reports subtracted. The Monday and Monday night reports include 23 tornadoes, the bulk of which occurred in Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. More severe weather broke out today with 40 additional reports through early this afternoon from New Jersey to Florida. No tornadoes have been reported. Most of the action has come from strong winds. Uh, no tornadoes were reported Sunday and Sunday night either, which is when the storm began to intensify in the Midwest and the Plains. However, there were 324 reports of large hail and wind damage, with the bulk of the damage from southern Wisconsin and southwestward to eastern Kansas. The severe weather season has started quickly this year, with 209 preliminary reports of tornadoes since January 1st. This number, although subject to change, exceeds the number of confirmed reports from January through the entire month of April of last year, when there were 197 confirmed report, uh, tornadoes, which means there are getting more uh, storms uh, with greater ferocity earlier. This uh, when this week's powerful spring storm system was fueled in part by a dramatic temperature contrast between unseasonably warm and humid air in advance of the storm and colder than normal air following it. For example, temperatures climbed into the record-breaking 80s in Denver on sun Saturday but fell into the 20s with snow by Sunday night. So... You see, there's a, there's a, there's a, that alone is, is reason to understand what's going on, you know? Uh, you go from the 80s to the 20s, and you're going to have problems. And then it ends saying uh, dramatic temperature shifts followed the system eastward. Temperatures this afternoon were in the upper 30s in Pittsburgh after topping out at above 70 on Monday, and temperatures along the Mideastern Mid-Atlantic coast this afternoon dropped 25 to 35 degrees from Monday's highs. So, you know, that's the story, guys. I'll be linking you to this article, but, you know, you know, I love when people send me emails saying, oh, you're a fear manga. You don't know what you're talking about. No, this is not getting worse. There's nothing wrong with the uh, Earth's climate, nothing wrong with the storm systems getting worse. This is normal. Well, this article just tells you that this is not normal. And uh, you're seeing this more often, the quote-unquote record-breaking uh, storms. So I'm going to be linking you guys to this article. 
and you guys can read it for yourself and pass it along to whoever. Take it easy, folks. Be well. Bye.